All right, guys, we are just hours away from tip-off from Game 3 of the NBA Finals in Cleveland. We have our expert NBA handicapper, Joe Gavazzi, on the line to talk to us and give us some tips on tonight's game. How's it going today, Joe? Excellent, Matt. Very excited about this Game 3 in the NBA because we got some great support for our opinion today in this one. All right, that's what we always like to hear. Now, uh, Warriors are coming off a really, really tough loss in Game 2. Another overtime game for us, Joe. How do you think he's... I mean, did you expect this series to be this close? I don't think anybody expected this series to be this close. Golden State, without their number two and number three scores in game two, they put up a tremendous emotional output in that game, played an outstanding defensive game, and held Golden State to an inordinately few number of points, particularly for a team that averaged 112 points a game on their home court in the regular season. Truly a monumental effort by the Cavaliers in that game. Absolutely, absolutely. Really, really stepped at their defense. And with Steph Curry shooting as poorly as he did, I mean, he set another record, but this time for missed three-pointers. Now, moving into game three, I think that affected the line a lot as we were looking at totals at about 200. Game two is right around 199, and tonight we're looking at 194. What are your thoughts on that play for the over-under tonight? Well, I think I would only flip the over-under because I think there's going to be a much better offensive performance tonight by Golden State. We've seen the teams over the years make tremendous adjustments from game to game, especially off a loss, and I expect Golden State to do just that in finding ways to get Matt A. Della Vadova out of inside the shirt of Steph Curry and free Curry up for some open three-pointers in this game. Also, not sure the Cavaliers will have the plus-12 edge on the boards that they had in the last game, nor that the Cavs themselves will shoot as poorly as they did. They were just 32% from the field and 33% from the arc. Yeah, you know, one can't expect both teams to be shooting that poorly again. Now moving over to the spread lines here, we're looking at, uh, started off, we had the Cavs favored, now we're moving into the uh, Warriors getting a given one and a half points. I'm even seeing two points in places. Do you see a play there tonight? Yeah, I really do. Um, first of all, this is a pretty big adjustment on the part of the line makers. Golden State was favored by eight points game two. So opening the Cavs a one point favor was a nine point swing. That's pretty hefty in the NBA playoffs, even considering Golden State's strong home court. What I like the most about this game is the historical significance of it for the flip-flop or zigzag, as people like to call it in the NBA playoffs. Do you guys know that in game three of any NBA playoff series, road teams who are greater than 700 winning percentage versus home teams who are greater than 625, if that road team is priced as a favorite to plus two, comes off a loss in the previous game, they are an over 90% bounce back situational play. So I'm going to follow that along with my opinion on Golden State for the Warriors to be the point spread winner in this one. Also, just take any tidbit you want out of an ESPN or other sports broadcast over the last two days, and you'll see that they were just in love with the Cavaliers' performance. And that's a sure sign that the public will be on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And it's actually the smart money that's flowing on the Golden State Warriors. All right, guys, you can't argue with that. Over 90% win rate to go with the Warriors tonight to cover. Guys, get on that. Get on that. Joe, I want to thank you for coming and talking to us today. And remember, everybody, sportsbookreview.com is where you need to come for your winning NBA picks.